Hi everyone, I'm Tech Bob. Welcome to eTech Facebook Live Fridays. Today I'm reviewing a tech tip related to the iPhone 12 and 13 series. Specifically, it's a scenario where if you boot the phone and have the sensor not connected, oops, sorry, let me mute my phone real quick. If you don't have the sensor flex connected, the, the proximity sensor, the sensor that goes on the back of the screen that you transfer in the screen repair, if you don't have it connected or if it's damaged, it can cause an issue with the device not booting up or the screen not displaying. It's a common misconception that the screen's defective, but if you try the original in the same scenario, it'll do the same thing. Um, we've always recommended testing parts right out of the box just to make sure, one, that it's good to go for the rest of the install, and also you're not having to undo the repair if it does end up being, for some reason, defective. But with these newer phones, you do have to at least, you, don't, you maybe don't have to install the sensor on the back of the phone, but you do have to connect it. That's the scenario, it has to be connected at the same time as the screen. If not, you will run into an issue where it'll show the Apple logo or it potentially won't show the Apple logo. It'll get all the way to the boot up process and you'll get a black screen, no image. If you toggle the mute switch, you'll feel that the phone is on, but it won't actually do anything. So specifically, I have an iPhone 12, an iPhone 12 Pro Max and an iPhone 13 today to be displaying this on. In our testing, we also have noticed that the iOS version can affect this scenario. Uh, it, it still seems that if the flex is damaged, it'll cause an issue, but on the 13 and the 12, if it's not present, it will in fact fully boot up, which I'll demonstrate that. So we're gonna switch over to the overhead camera, turn on this light. So I'm gonna start with showing the exact issue on this iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let me zoom out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, here's my sensor flex. I'm not going to plug it in. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my screen. We'll power it on. Okay, battery's connected. Screen's good. Hmm. Let me check my connections one more time. Is good. All right, we'll reconnect our screen. Hmm. This phone might have died on me. I'm actually gonna grab a charger for this one. I'm gonna switch over to another phone real quick just to demonstrate it. So. Same thing on this one. This is my iPhone 12. So I have my sensor flex here. This one, when I covered it earlier, the scenario was it did boot, but the screen was very dark. And that's because it's trying to detect the auto brightness of the ambient light sensor, and it's not actually there. All right, so that one's booting. We'll go to that one in a second. And as I mentioned, the reason we're covering this, we've had a, an increase in customers reaching out about this lately. And it's a, a new thing because it, the previous iPhones, the 11s, the 10s, they didn't require the sensor to be connected. You would just get the face ID not available message, but it, uh, it would work. The screen would display something. So it's hard to tell on this one, but you can actually see, or barely see, the screen is on. It's just very dark. I don't know if you can see it with that glare there. But um, that's why it's not displaying fully is because the sensor is not connected. So I'm going to go through this one one more time. Gonna, I unplugged my battery. That we do recommend doing in between all screen connections, disconnections, or really any part, just to prevent damage to the board. Gonna connect our sensor flex. Turn the phone back on. Yeah, I'll take that charger. 
I have a plug over here. Let me plug this other phone in real quick. It's most likely just dead. And there you can see the screen is definitely visible now. It's actually lit up. So it was related to the sensor flex. Now the whole screen's working. And the only difference in between what we did before and now is we connected a sensor flex to it. Um, so that was the iPhone 12. It looks like my iPhone 12 Pro Max was dead. So I plugged it in to a charger. My sensor flex is not connected. It's actually on the outside of the phone. And here we'll see as soon as it boots up or as soon as it gets past the Apple logo, the screen goes black. Now, if I toggle the mute switch, I'll feel it vibrate. I can feel it, you can't really hear it, but I can feel it vibrate. So the phone is in fact on. You just can't see anything on the screen. So to resolve this one, just like with the other phone, the iPhone 12, I'm going to disconnect my battery. I don't have to disconnect my screen necessarily, as long as there wasn't an issue with the connection. I'm going to connect my sensor flex cable. Connect my battery. We'll just go ahead and plug it back into the charger. And what we'll notice this time, so let me turn this light off so the glare is better. There we go. We'll notice after the Apple logo, it'll actually boot up into the phone. So there we go. It's actually working now. And again, there was nothing related to the screen that caused that. It was just that sensor flex cable. So the main scenario I've mentioned so far is if the cable is missing. So if you don't plug it in when you're trying testing out the phone, it'll do that. The second scenario is if the sensor flex is damaged. If it's damaged, it can cause the same issue, whether the proximity sensor part, the ambient light sensor, or there's just a tear in the cable. If it's damaged enough, it'll cause the phone to think that it's not there or it'll it'll cause a short to where it'll not boot the phone up or it'll even boot loop on you. So that's important to check for. I'm going to put that phone to the side. And then my final test phone here is an iPhone 13. Same scenario here. If I connect it on this one, the phone will actually boot up fine. So on the 13s, it seems to be related to the iOS version. Move that over a little bit. I'm going to connect my screen. Battery connected and then we'll boot the phone. Move it out of the glare a little bit. And this one did boot up all the way. So it has no issue, but the auto brightness won't work. The brightness is also turned all the way up. So it does cause an issue with the display because the sensor flex is not connected. Um, this one at least is not as severe as the others where it wasn't turning on at all. Uh, so it's better scenario. But again, if you're into an issue where the screen's too bright or the uh, color is off or anything like that, it's going to be related to the sensor flex cable. So that's all you really have to do to make sure that it works is make sure your sensor flex is connected and not damaged. Um, but that's pretty much it for this display or this stream today. We just wanted to mention that common issue that we've uh, had people calling in about, which is related to the sensor flex in particular. Now, in, in the event you do damage the original sensor flex, some, in some cases it's fixable. You can uh, it's a micro soldering repair where the sensors have to be either transplanted or uh, there's a face ID resolution flex cable where you can fix, fix, I believe. Actually, it's not on this one. It's going to be the dot projector on this side. But some scenarios of damage are repairable. Majority, I would say, aren't. What you can do is replace the sensor flex cable, this right here, which will allow your phone to boot normally. It won't cause a display issue. But because this cable is tied to Face ID, Face ID will no longer work. So important thing to keep note of right there. But that's all we had to cover on this specific scenario today. Did want to mention for the next couple streams, Scott, we can switch back over to the main screen. Um, for the next couple streams, so next week we'll be live. Um, and then the following two, the end of year ones, we're actually going to pre-record them um, just because they're the end of the year streams. 
We are planning to do a pretty big giveaway next Friday for the stream. Right now, the front runner is a blue laser. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for more details to follow. It'll be related to the Facebook Live, so you will have to be present next Friday, the 16th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, our normal live time. We'll have a post on our website, uh, email that goes out, and we'll, we'll let people know as we go throughout the week. But definitely stay tuned because it's a pretty big one. If you have any questions from now till then, let us know. Or if you have anything you want us to cover specifically, let us know too. We'd be happy to do that. But that's all we had today. I hope everyone enjoyed today's stream and everyone has a great weekend. See you guys later.